in this video we will go through the topic of adding copper plane it should be spelled plane right something like this here adding copper plane in keycad i have been spelling it something like keycad in earlier videos then i learned that it's keycad is the right way to pronounce it so in the process you should also get familiar with my accent or whatever you call it but anyway, I'm going to speak a little slow so you can get used to my accent uh, if it's not familiar with you. What we are trying to do is, let me go through my schematic here for this keycat, a simple schematic which earlier generally in my videos I have been using a resistor and an LED to explain these different things, not the circuit itself, but I added a second resistor and a second LED to make it a little more complex so that I can show that this crown thing here is connected to more than one net and that's why we have one, two, three connections to the ground net and then the, for this simpler circuit I could for example connect them using this wire something similar like this, 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 this and maybe from here I could use a via uh, add a add a through hole via and then go to this one but if the circuit gets more complicated you may want to uh, you may want to use a power plane and it has uh, other advantages of the uh, like a uh, lower high frequency noise and it, it actually also helps to connect the to the power plane because it reduces a lot of complexity so what we will try to do is we'll kind of create a power plane on the second layer the bottom layer instead of the first layer and then every all of these things like this pin one of this diode d1 will have a via here and that will connect to the bottom layer Plane and V2 will have a VR connecting out of this and will connect to the bottom layer here. To do to add this copper plane, TCAT calls it uh, copper uh, Jones. So what we do is we click here, call an add fill Jones. So you click on this one and then you select the layer where we want that fill zone. In our case, it's a fill zone. See that how it was earlier on the front zone. Now it's on the bottom zone. If it's a four layer, for example, you could also have a flow four layer by using uh, something here, file, maybe board setup, and then you could actually have a four copper layer. But this one is a simple, but the, the concept applies to the four layer as well. But right now we are using just the bottom layer to add our copper plane. So let's keep our grid at 50. You could also select a finer grid, but for our purpose, for the simplicity, it's 50 mils is good enough. I click on here, and then it asks me which copper, which net I is this one associated with. You could also choose no net. In some cases, this will be good as well. You could typically will have a ground or a power plane, for example, a VCC or a 3.3 volt other net one of these power the ground layer or, or other other uh, filled areas as well there are a number of setups we can go through this thing for example I would like a smaller clearance is minimum width is this and then if you want a thermal release or a solid depending upon whether you want um, for example in the thermal release this through hole will connect like with four spokes that allows this better soldering capability instead of the solid and then we can have thermal clear and thermal folks so this is something you could uh, do this on all these things uh, all settings so we'll not go into the details of it but we'll just click ok and then we can start drawing our bottom layer you see how nicely it starts shading the area of creating the creating the planes and then finally we click on the final point right here and that it creates a copper fill the thing that you need to to do now observe is see how nicely these spokes are coming out and it gets connected to the ground plane copper plane uh the scene 
notice that these two pins are still not connected because we have not done this piece and that's the next thing we'll try so click on here and then we'll add a via here uh, and then we go over here and go on clicking um, click I click on these that add say to via so now if you look at this these three are connected on the bottom layer through something like this so this is connected here and this is completely this VI is completely connected to the D1 on the bottom and then we have a trace on the top that's how it gets connected so for example if I uh, again go to the bottom layer and I select this plane if I delete let's say this plane and you see that these three nets they get disconnected you can see it, see it with the rat next function so we, 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 if, if, if in this unconnected fashion, if I again just to walk you through the process again to repeat the thing and you will need to practice it a little bit. I click on something called the add fill zone and then I click on the bottom layer, the layer on which I want that thing and then I click somewhere here. I click the net that I want to use. Uh, and then I click on OK and then I start uh, adding my polygon or a rectangle or whatever, way I, whatever I want to and then click on and see how this is connected this thing up. So this is a simple way you can uh, add this thing so you see we have no unconnected item and it, this is the nice looking um, nice looking ground plane that and same thing could be applied to a part of the net. Uh, another thing could be if you could for example want a keep out area you could use that as well uh, for example in the uh, you can allow a a no uh, keep out area something like this although it's not for some reason it's not allowing but you could do those kind of things and play with this thing what works for you and what not but I hope this uh, you found this ground flare or copper flooring or copper plane concept in keycad helpful thanks for taking a look